Hey guys, Andy from Amdroid has done it. Um, obviously Siri is quite big news at the moment for the uh, iPhone 4S, so I'm just looking at some of the other alternatives that Android users have really that do a similar sort of job. And one of the ones that people always say is the best is voice actions, which is free in the marketplace. So we're going to try a couple of different things. I'm, I'm going to read some off, um, off their sort of, you know, the marketplace description basically that says that it should work. Horoscope for Capricorn. Which sign are you? Capricorn. Interesting. Pisces. 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 Are you interested in superficial things such as your horoscope? Yes. Pisces, a male acquaintance that you know through a group. By the end of the day, this person could turn from casual acquaintance to firm. Oh, whatever. So, because I'm not actually interested. Um, okay, one one thing is, it looks like I have to get the phone a bit closer to me, to me gob, for it to be able to um, to understand. Um, what will the weather be like in London? It will be partly sunny, 55 Fahrenheit. How far away is Luton? It is currently partly cloudy, 52 <laughs> Fahrenheit. Hmm. That was interesting, because it got it wrong. It got how far away was the sun, but then told me the weather again. Let's try again. Let's try how far. How far away is the moon? The moon is approximately 240,000 miles away from the Earth. That's about three days as the Apollo flies. The distance is always changing a little since the moon's orbit around the Earth is an ellipse and not a circle. What is the average rainfall in Manchester? Average is somewhere between 43 to 46 depending on the data you're looking at. That's the historical average right now. But the southeast in general hasn't really seen their yearly averages in quite a while. Did it get Manchester from that southeast? I like that it shows you the people it's listening. When it goes kind of a green tone, it means it's listening. I like that it shows you a picture of... Um, things that you've asked about. Um, show me an Android. Let's see. Yeah, fair enough. Another? Oh, quite, I've never done that before. And one more? I was just doing it anyway. <laughs> Maybe. Show me the Galaxy Nexus. Let's see. Wasn't quite. I think it was probably listening when I was saying other things before. And let's come back. Let's try and see if it can show me. Show me the Galaxy Nexus. Let's see. So that's not bad. The voice recognition is pretty good. What else can we, in theory, can we do? Oh, sorry. See, it's listening. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Right, let's try. Send message Raju, just testing voice actions app. Volume is now at 100%. Oh. Make it quieter. <laughs> so, I have some features you might want to try uh, out. Like what? Why ask why? Maybe I'm a bit far. Maybe I'm a bit far away again. Send message, Raju. Hey, Raju, just testing voice actions. Maybe it struggles. Uh, Maybe it struggles with Raju as a name because it perhaps doesn't understand that one. So yeah, it's oh dear. So it's far from perfect, but um, you know it, it can do things like read your incoming 
SMS, record, record audio, make video, navigate. Let's try. Navigate to Watford. Travel safely. <laughs> navigate to Want Food. So I think it's now going to search Want Food and oh yeah. So again, maybe it just struggles with kind of UK, UK locations. Um, let's try. Email Rob. Hey Rob, just testing voice actions. <laughs> yeah, not not uh, not perfect, but it, it does seem to be one of the better ones. I don't know, can it open apps and things? I wonder. Open Tweet Deck. Opening Tweet Deck. Yeah, that's pretty good. So on the whole, the voice recognition is pretty good. Um, I've got it there because I thought, well, maybe I will try using it now and then, but I generally haven't. Um, I think, if anything, just using the voice recognition for doing text messages and things can be handy. But and I suppose if you're driving, in theory, if it works there, then it's pretty good. But um, yeah, I mean, the voice recognition is pretty good, and the integration to the system is quite good. I don't think I have had it so it will set calendar events. If I say, let's try this. Set alarm 30 minutes. Shall I wake you tomorrow at 7 a.m.? No. Can okay, I won't. Why did it get 7 a.m.? That's odd, because I'm sure last time I did that, it did set an alarm in 30 minutes' time. I saw the alarm time, but for some reason it wanted to wake me at 7 a.m. Um, mind you, I did some of these tests and then I looked at my calendar on the computer later and it had put some entries into the calendar, which is kind of odd. Um, in fact, let's try that. Add calendar entry, 9pm, testing. Shall I remind you today at 9pm? Cancel. So, oh, yeah, I'm done. So that, you can add calendar entries using voice. Uh, voice actions. All in all, pretty good app, whether or not you want to actually bother using it. Well, I mean, it's free, so give it a go, see if there's any use to it, I suppose. But, um, yeah, we'll see. If, if Google do their own thing at some point and integrate it into the OS, it might be a bit more useful, but we'll see. We'll see how we get on. But not too bad. Well, there you go. My name's Andy, Hemadroids.net.